that is right, ladies and gentlemen. We are on the eve of finding out all about the war in the Pacific. This is Battlefield 5's massive jump around the world to the next stage of World War II. This teaser trailer, it was released just a couple of hours ago, and whilst it doesn't show us that much, it does kind of give us an idea for the tone that DICE has gone for here. I think it's safe to say that they've kind of listened to the feedback from players from the previous section of Battlefield 5. This American soldier is dressed in an era authentic uniform with just a touch of flair. He's got this map tucked under a band on his helmet. Now he appears to be standing on the deck of a large battleship and he's looking towards the shoreline of some Pacific island. Although it's hard to work out exactly which island this might be. Now we did recently find out the name of one of the maps for coming for the Pacific has changed from Tropic Islands to Pacific Storm. It doesn't really seem to be much of a storm happening here right now, so perhaps this is another of the three maps slated to arrive before the end of 2019. Another one of those is Iwo Jima and rumoured Wake Island as well. There are a couple of other shots that can be found around links for the trailer on YouTube, which I should mention actually, the full trailer for War in the Pacific, that's going to go live on October the 23rd, so that's Wednesday this week. Make sure you look out for it when it goes live. Thanks for watching today, forgive my microphone quality since I am away right now, I'm sitting in a hotel room, it's about 7 o'clock in the evening where I am, so I've got to use my travel mic, I don't have my massive microphone here with me, but just let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss my full breakdown video coming later this week of this Pacific trailer. I'll catch you all soon.